Hello, this is Anthony Romrell. Now I'm going to show you how to build a hammer using the same techniques we've talked about before on previous models. So here we go. I'm going to start off with a cube. Snap to the grid. Just use my basic manipulation tools to get this model started. Go to face mode, do some simple editing, and then I'll go straight to the two additive tools we've talked about before. That is the extrude tool, and I'll just extrude parts of the model. Remember, G repeats the previous process. Another tip just to remember, just to remind you of, is uh, if I hit shift period, I can select multiple faces at a time based on the current selection. So you can see sh hitting shift period, if I select this face, hit shift period, it's going to grow the selection around the model. Now I can extrude from this section. parts of a hammer. I'll go to this side using the same method. Just remember to always keep it simple. Keep it simple. That's the best advice I can say to anyone who's just learning Maya. Don't get too complex too fast makes it very difficult to clean up or to manipulate it if it's if if you work too fast and add too much geometry so slow it down just add basic little little parts at a time now another tip I want to talk to you about is hitting the B key B. If you hold B and you pull with your mouse, you can have what's called a soft selection. B turns it off. Clicking and holding B changes the size of the soft selection. Soft selection is great when you want to select a certain area and have and have it move with a fall off. And if you don't want the soft selection, just hit B and turn it off. And now I have the basics, the basis of a hammer. And I'm going to just use the insert edge loop tool just to round it a bit. So now I'm hitting a problem with my scale tool. This isn't going to work like I expected. So what I'm going to have to do is select just parts of the model. So I'll go around to just certain edges, not all of them and scale it. And one more time, I'll insert edge loops here.
There I have a pretty decent basic hammer. 